How's it going everybody? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always and today I'm gonna show you my brand new eSports Colors version 2. That's right, I got not one, but two legends with eSports Colors version 2. And I'm gonna be playing those legends, showing off the skins and what they look like in eSports version 2. But real quick, if you don't know what eSports Colors version 2 are, you can go into the image render tool here if you're on PC, and this is what they look like basically. Version 2 colors are like, kind of, they almost remind me of like inverse home team colors, but with more red. So they look really, really, really cool, obviously, and yeah. Unfortunately, you don't get to choose which legend you get these for. It gives you random, just like regular esports does, and you get them the same way. You have to watch twitch.tv slash Brahala. You have to watch Brahala Esports. And the viewership rewards are how you, how you get these. So, I was lucky enough to get two of them. And the first one I'm going to show you that I got is... Ember. Here's regular Esports. Esports version 2. Oh, man. Look how good this looks. Ember is looking so good. Look at that meta dev Ember version 2. Oh my goodness. The dragon heart looks amazing. I'm super, super happy I got version 2. Alright, Daryl doesn't even look different. Super happy I got super two, uh, version 2 for Ember because I really do like Ember. So I think I'm going to go uh, meta dev because it just looks so good. I'll do default weapons. And then, after this game, I will show you the second legend I got eSports version 2 for. And play with that legend. Not going to tell you who it is yet. You're going to have to wait and see. And then, uh, we'll go ahead and switch back between Ember and the other legend. For a little, you know, we'll, we'll play a few games. I'm not, I might not show all the skins. I have all the skins, and I will show them. But I, I might not play with all the skins, rather. Playing against uh, Jay Yun, which is pretty cool. I've actually seen more people coming back to Greatsword after kind of leaving it for a little while. Maybe making a comeback in popularity. Oh, bye, 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 bye. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Ah, the double down zig! Let's go! Ember's so fun. Look at how good these colors are. Oh, my goodness. I do feel like I could just win anything when I'm using these colors. <laughs> it's like a psychological advantage. Oh, oh. Oh man, the Katars are just on fire today. The bow's on fire, the Katars on fire. We're, we're just eSports version two. Too, too good. Jay yun has been trying to hit me with this great sword, but struggling to even get a two-hit combo, I feel like. Oh my goodness! The down sig read was so flawless! Wow, I don't know if I could play better than that. GG dude, GG. That was almost a flawless victory. Alright, the second legend I got esports version 2 is... You're not gonna believe it, but it's Zario. Are you ready for this? Esports version one? Esports version two. And like I said, I didn't choose these legends. They were just random. So look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. I'm so excited about this. Like the esports version two colors are kind of rare. Like legit, I only got two. Look how good that looks. Just for comparison, here's regular esports. And by the way, regular esports looks amazing. Like, regular esports colors is one of my favorite color schemes in the game. But esports version 2 has to be right up there with the with the best colors. I think I'm gonna go Outer World Zarya. That just looks way too good. I'm using Speed Stance, and that's fine. I'll use his default weapons this time. I think after this, uh, I'll, I'll switch back to Ember, but I'll do a different skin and maybe even sw switch up the weapons as well because I have like a hundred different weapon skins. So we'll, we'll, we'll pick some different weapons and see what they look like with the uh, version 2 colors as well. All right, here we go. Going against Bat Zib Tai. I actually played this guy earlier this morning. He's a really good player, so this, this, should, be a, this should be a great fight. 
want some pizza? Okay, guess not. Going against the Val, so... We're gonna have some gauntlets versus gauntlets uh, battles here. <laughs> Which can be a little tedious. Uh, it's a lot of missing and just trying to get the first hit so you can do a little string. Okay. Oh man, I didn't mean to throw my weapon that way. He's chasing me! Yeah, this guy is really good though. I played him at least once this morning and... Like I said, like, it, he's the type of guy that doesn't make mistakes very often. And he's pretty good about punishing my mistakes. Like, look at that. Like, he definitely knows how to play well. Oh, perfect. Pretty sure I beat him when I did play him. But still. Oh, man. The death pit. Just because you beat somebody once doesn't mean it's guaranteed again. Got him with that perfect neutral sig. Let's go, Zario. First game with Zario Esports version 2. If you guys are enjoying this content, please drop a like. It really helps my channel out. Slam dunk. So, if you guys got Esports Colors version 2 for a legend that you really don't like playing, would you still play that legend just because you have Esports version 2, or would you not? Because <laughs> I know, like, sub almost got him with the down sig. Like, for me, I'm just happy to get them at all. It doesn't really matter. Like, sure, I would like them on some Legends more than others, but I'm just happy to get any because, you know, I like playing all Legends. He really likes to stay right on top of me for the most part. Oh, wow. I thought he would do a recovery, but either way, I probably would have died, to be honest. That's okay. We got a pretty nice uh, lead here. He's already in deep red. We got, like, a full stock lead almost. But, let's see if he can bring it back. He, he just has to damage us and, you know, not get hit. One good hit. Oh, that didn't kill. Are you kidding me? I'm surprised that didn't kill. The ceiling on this map must be super high. Tried to combo there, but didn't quite grab it. Maybe I should have done neutral sig. What a dodge. I thought that weapon throw would hit him for sure. Oh, get that out of here. Anytime a gauntlet player is ground pounding you, don't jump. If you jump, you're dead. Just do a recovery. That's all you got to do. All right, he's on final stock. We're, we're maintaining this lead pretty, pretty well, even though he's definitely damaging us. Ooh, he almost died there. Oh, man, I'm getting way too red here. Basically, I'm just trying to get any amount of damage on him that I can. All right, all right. I like how he's fighting. Look at that. That was a good punish. In the end, it won't even matter. One or two good hits and he's probably toast. Maybe three. There's one. All right, Val. All right, Val. I'll give you credit. You're fighting really good, but we still got a whole stock here. And this is how the last fight was with this guy, too. Like, they just last a long time, but I don't have a problem with that. I'm very patient. Probably one of the best things that I've picked up. Oh, that was way too deep, Val. But yeah, probably one of the best... Uh, things I picked up playing this game over a long period of time is to be more patient. Only go for, you know, plays that you feel are good. Don't be in a rush just to fight, because you're probably going to lose to a good player. Oh no! He died trying to gimp me! Oh man. GG dude, GG. Well played. Live by the gauntlets, die by the gauntlets. <laughs> that was a good game. All right. That game lasted like half the video. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to Ember so we could try one of these other skins. I think I'm going to go with the dragon one. It just looks so good. But we're going to change up the weapon so we can see what some of these other weapons look like in version 2 colors. Let's do the Shinsekai Boji, uh, Koji. <laughs> 
Shin Sakai Koji Bow, because I know that's one of the more popular bows in the game, because it's animated. Let's see what it looks like with the version 2 colors. Here we go. Look at that. Looks really cool. And then, for the Katars, mm, we could do Mako's animated Katars, just to see what they look like. I know, like, everybody uses those nowadays, though. Let's see what the Nightmare Claw... Oh, we don't get to actually see them until we're in a game. Uh, alright. Yeah, that's fine. We can do Serpent's Fang. See what they look like. Oh. I've actually never seen anybody else even using these colors before. Have you guys? Like, yesterday is the first time that you were able to even get these colors. So, I I mean, I've been playing. I played yesterday and I played today. And I have yet to, Three, to go against two, anybody one. using esports version 2. Except for myself here. Um... I think a lot of people maybe even think that they're actually just, like, black colors. Because they could easily be confused for black colors because they, they are mainly black and red. It's just a little bit more of a red-orange, you know? Not, you can definitely tell the difference looking at the, uh, the black enchantress compared to me. She's a little bit darker and a little more red. There it is. Oh my goodness. Oh, look how cool the bow looks! It looks so cool! It's like red-orange, for real. And to be honest, I don't know which I like better. I, I like both a lot. Esports version 2, I almost like better just because it's a little bit brighter colors. A little more saturation, I guess, than the regular black is, like, really dark red. No! Could have touched the wall. Good edge guarding, for sure. Alright, here we go. Streamline. Usually I don't like fighting Fate or Enchantress, but when I have Katars, I feel a lot more confident, so I feel like we can get this win. Oh, get that out of here! She trying to get back to stage with a side sig. Oh, these weapons are so good. I don't know if these weapons are like good against Fate like in particular, but <laughs> seems like I can do pretty good with them versus Fate. Probably help if she went and got a weapon instead of trying to fight me on arm. There we go. Oh wow, I'm surprised I didn't get hit by her side sig. She's got the right idea. Alright, alright, alright. She likes to play with the scythe, I get it. Off stage. Enchantress is also one of my favorite characters in this entire game, so... <laughs> I can't say anything bad about her. I, I do prefer Katars over Orb, though. I would love, like, a legend that has a uh, Scythe and Bow, or a uh, Katars and Scythe. We don't have a Katar Scythe legend, right? I don't think so. I would like that, and a uh, Scythe Bow. There it is. Sometimes it takes like a thousand hits with Katars to actually <laughs> get the KO. GG dude, GG. Alright, I'm gonna do one more game at least. This one is with Zariel again, but this time I wanna go Archangel Zariel. Look how insane that looks. This is actually my main Zariel skin. I'm gonna go to my main Zariel uh, fashion here. Let's go... Ooh, I do like Steven Shields. Oh, those look pretty cool. But those aren't the ones I normally go with. I gotta find them. Mm, here we go. The Heaven's Touch Gauntlets. Those are my favorite. And then for the bow... We're gonna use Rising Glory. This is also one of my favorite skins. Oh, look how good this looks, guys. So, yeah. If you guys want these colors, these esports colors, they're literally free. All you have to do is watch Brahalla Twitch uh, e esports streams. And I believe the next opportunity for you to do that, if you're watching the video this video, the day it came out, uh, the next opportunity is Monday, like tomorrow, so... So you do not have to wait, I'm pretty sure you can get them tomorrow, but you do have to watch the stream quite a bit. And they usually only give like one esports color version 2 code at the very end, so it is hard to get them, they're making it rare on, a rare color on purpose, which I like. I like colors that not everybody has, you know? But at the same time, it's not that hard to get. 
Alright, so far we're doing pretty good on this thatch. I'm a little rusty with Zariel, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really been playing a whole lot of bow lately, or a whole lot of Zariel, so... Oh, I love it when they spot dodge just a little bit above the ground. Perfect height for that down sig. Not that I don't like Zariel, he's actually really fun, and when he came out... I should say they, they don't, Zariel doesn't have a gender, but whatever. Uh, when they came out, I didn't really play anybody else. Like, I just played Zariel, and I got pretty decent, so... Even though I haven't played Zariel in a while, you know, it's like riding a bike, you know? You just, you don't really forget once you know how. Nice, nice D-Light recovery. The ceiling is so high, though. It's, it's really hard to kill off the top on this map. If I could have hit with that down sig again, I'll be happy. This guy has that blue border, so that means he's a founder on PS4. Yeah, do that down light again, boy. Oh no, he did. That time he actually hit me. My goal is don't get hit by the cannonballs this entire game. Oh, I almost reached him. Ooh, man. I love to see a Thatch, too. Like, Thatch is actually a really good legend, too. He just only has three defense, I think, so that's his biggest weakness. But his signatures are, and weapons are literally awesome. Oh, get out of here with that, Thatch. I like how he's kicking it up a notch, guys. I can feel it. He's trying to kick it up a notch. He wants to win, but so do I. May the best. Legend win. Oh, baby. He is camping that weapon so hard. Yeah, you... Oh, he dropped it. Dropped me. When people camp a weapon really hard, I just don't even try to go for the weapon. It's just a death trap. I'll just wait for another weapon to spawn or fight unarmed. Oh man, what a close game. Alright, he's on final stock. I believe. He's also in deep red, kind of. Oh, now he is. One good sig and we got this win, baby. Again, I will beat you with that, that recovery. Oh, not the cannonballs. GG, dude, GG. I didn't really use that down sig the entire game, so I wanted to use it at least once. GG, dude. Well, guys, those are the only two legends I have eSports version 2. I have eSports version 1 for every legend in the game, so every time I get an eSports co uh, code, I just give it out, give it to you guys. And same thing, once I get eSports version 2 for every legend, I'm gonna give out all my eSports version 2 codes as well. And, uh, yeah, anyways, Hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop a like if you did. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. As always, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.